a nice mixture of nuts just to give it a real nutty nut roast vibe. and welcome to another episode of vlogmas today is going to be another cookery themed one it's going to be what we're having on christmas day i wanted to do a test run before the big event because there's nothing worse than trying out a new recipe and not working i said new recipe it's not fully new recipe it's the one that i've had my whole life that my mom and my sister have always cooked for us on christmas day i did one last year with breadcrumbs in because that's what the recipe has but being gluten free I wasn't thinking in advance and I didn't make any bread so I'm gonna try something different I'm gonna try cassava flour and I don't know if you saw the <laughs> I don't know if you saw the baking one that I did recently I tried something different there and whilst it didn't look great it tasted amazing so it still worked out and nut roasts don't really look very pretty anyway but I'm gonna show you what I do it's super simple really quick and easy recipe and it always tastes amazing so this is a very simple recipe it's literally nuts and vegetables a bit of flour it's all about the taste so you don't want it real thick i don't like it real thick and stodgy so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grate a carrot i'm going to grate a parsnip i'm going to cut the onion up and i'm going to fry the onion in here so let's get that on first whilst the onions are going to brown off in the pan the next thing to do is to peel these and then, in this bowl, grate them with my teeny tiny grater. <laughs> now I know some of you noticed in the last vlog, my teeny tiny sieve, which is ridiculously small, but this is actually a really good size, so it's perfect for that. Get off! How? How are you so stuck? Here is the freshly grated carrot and parsnip and I've literally just this second added some garlic into my browning onions. Oh, getting a bit steamy there. And the next thing to do is in this bowl, whisk up an egg. Good. It's literally just onion and garlic at the moment. Give you some. Okay, so I'm gonna lob the egg in. There we go. And then I'm gonna put this browned onions and garlic in the carrot and parsnip mixture. You're probably thinking, <clears throat> yeah, this all looks great, but where are the nuts? The nuts are there. And after I've mixed all this in together and made a nice eggy mess, <laughs> I'm gonna smash up those nuts and lob them in. So here I've got a bag of mixed nuts that I need to smash and you all know I don't have a rolling pin so I'm going to smash them with this bottle of gin because it's uh, nice and big and heavy Now, if you had a food processor I would highly recommend processing those nuts in the food processor It'd be way easier, way more consistent but this is the off-grid life without food processor in the van and you know what to be fair the bottle of gin did a really good job at smashing those nuts to pieces so now let's just lob the nuts in as you can see i've got a nice mixture i've got some whole nuts still i've got some ultra powdered nuts i've got some crushed nuts a nice mixture of nuts just to give it a real nutty nut roast vibe So I'm really stoked about the fact that I have a compost bin. I've tried for years to have them in the van and stuff and it just got a bit difficult but I got this bin a few weeks ago and it's so great to be able to get rid of all of my natural materials to rot down in here. If any of you guys have got like any tips on how to like really make the most out of a compost bin do let me know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just literally lobbing the, the old vegetables and food in there and just hoping it does its own thing and then next to it Obviously, because you should keep food by a compost bin. I've got my olives. 
Here they are. In fact, Everyone's to... <laughs> been asking about the olives. Everyone's been asking about them and I need to change the water tonight. So I will be changing it. They're not ready yet. In my fantasy land, they were going to be ready by Christmas. It's not going to happen. They're, they still taste a little bit. So anyway. Oh, that's another reason. I just remember why I came outside. I'm going to pick some herbs. So I've got a little uh, herb garden going on here. So I've got my rosemary, my thyme, parsley. It's kind of doing okay. Coriander. It's actually coming back from the dead. I uh, yeah, overwatered them by accident, but... Yeah. Fresh herbs for the win. Got my herbage. I'm gonna cut it up, chop it up into very fine pieces. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell but I've pretty much made up this recipe which is how the ropers do it we just lob it all in and it tastes good so I've got loads of herbs in here now I'm just going to add a bit of salt good old sal you're not roast I usually so good though they are not Nearly as good as my mum's. Oh gosh, yeah, Ali <laughs> makes absolutely pucker nut roasts. Salty. Got some paprika. You know what I really miss? Smoked paprika. I can't find it on any of the shelves here. So what's that? This is just normal paprika, normal, normal ass paprika. I just like to lob any flavour in imaginable. Obviously pepper. So this is the stuff. There we go. Should do the trick. What's the trick? Tastes good. <laughs> so the next step in this nut roast extravaganza is not to add the cassava flour. I know I said I was gonna because usually there's bread cr breadcrumbs in there, but it doesn't feel too moist. So I'm gonna leave it as it is. I've got my nuts in there, I've got some vegetables, I've got an egg, I've got my herbs. <sighs> Let's see how it goes, let's whack it in the oven. So the nut roast is in a little dish and I'm gonna lob it in the oven. Favourite phrase. And thank you to the guy who told me that I had my rack in the wrong way around. I thought it was so difficult getting stuff in and now. And now it's so easy. <laughs> so I'm gonna probably put it on maybe gas mark four and just see what happens. Maybe leave it for half an hour, 45 minutes. Excuse the noise of the heater in the background, but I've just got the nut roast out and it smells really good. That's we're gonna so good. we're gonna cut into it and taste it. Whoop! Instead of me doing the taste test, I'm actually gonna give it to Theo to do the taste test because he is always honest with me. Gingy, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. Is really it? Really good. Oh, I'll just finish it. It smelled good. The part mm. I think the parsnip really added to it. Came up out the dirt like a parsnip. Yes. Mm. Ginger, I'll make you a um a cat nut roast, yeah? No? With catnip in it. Yeah. <laughs> so that'll be good for Christmas Day. Mm, so good. Yeah I'm gonna try it now. Mm. So that was a success. I'm gonna obviously make double the portions for Christmas Day because it was a I realised as I was getting out of the pan that it was quite thin. <laughs> Maybe I just put it in too, too big a pan, but yeah, but or just double the portions. I think that's probably better. But it tasted really nice. It's all about the flavour and the texture. Love a nut roast. So yeah, we're off now to uh, meet some friends. So we will see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining in today's Vlogmas. Bye. Head over to theindieproducts.com forward slash shop and check out our new merchandise. Join us on Patreon for exclusive content and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.